Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my video on the Surface Pro 8, Microsoft's latest Surface Pro device. Not to be confused with the Surface Laptop Studio, which we just covered, so definitely subscribe to the channel, check out that video. But before you do that, let's continue to look at what the Surface Pro 8 brings. So the Pro 8 is a nice device. What I mean by nice, meaning design-wise, it kind of takes cues from the Surface Pro X. More rounded corners, just a nice thin profile, which you would expect. The Alcantara keyboard is back with the uh, Slim Pen 2 in there. All that looks pretty cool. Comes in black, comes in platinum, starts at $1,099 and goes up to about $2,000 something. Now our configuration we're testing here is a Quai 7, 256 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. So, which means we can do quite a bit on this device. But before we get into gaming, which you now want to get to, uh, I want to talk about just some of the functionalities built into this, right? This is a tablet, but it's meant to be a computer. So which means I can take this with me anywhere easily. So jumping on the train, putting it on my lap, I can work quite effectively. But I can also pull out that pen and use it to write and use it to color or draw. I'm terrible at that. Slim Pen 2 is good. It writes well in terms of drawing and using it for more artistic things. I'm not artistic in that sense, so I can't give you a conclusion on that, but it just takes some getting used to using the pen. The keyboard on the other hand and the trackpad, magnificent. Now, how about gaming? Because we want to game, right? Now, this is not a gaming laptop or a gaming device. You're not meant to do that, but Microsoft has added a few things that as gamers we like. 120 hertz display on this device, which is great, which means that while you decide to game, you're gonna get some really, really nice fluid motions. So we went ahead and we installed um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, tried to run that at um, 720p and 1080p. At 720, we got about 41 frames per second on its lowest settings. 1080p, we got about 37 frames per second. Same lowest settings, so not bad, it ran. Fortnite ran well, ran well enough, got close to about 60 frames per second, and that was pretty solid. Now we did try Doom Eternal, which I suggest you shouldn't, because this will start, the fan starts blowing really loud, um, and also didn't run that well. So the best place, of course, is Xbox Game Pass, where Microsoft has been talking about how this allows you to play a lot of games. And we played a ton of games on here, uh, from, you know, Jedi Fallen Order, to um, Forza Horizon, to Gears 5, some Injustice, and some indie games. We just kept on playing more and more games. And it was a nice, solid experience. Again, that's over streaming, which works well with, of course, Wi-Fi 6 built-in. You've got other features in this device that add a little bit more. You've got two Thunderbolt ports, which means you can connect to monitors if you want to, uh, but also means that you can charge with a PD charger. Now this comes with a 65 watt charger, which you don't have to carry. I didn't bring, I'm not showing the video because those things are big and they've been using the same chargers for years. I decided to charge it with just the 65 watt anchor, anchor charger. Works well, it's slower, it's not as fast, but it still works. You don't have to carry any of those regular chargers. Microsoft has Windows Hello. Windows Hello with the cameras work really well if you have a good webcam, and this actually does. Windows Hello is fast, it's responsive, and it's great. But how does it work for a webcam? What kind of visual quality? Because that's now very important in the year 2021. So let's take a look at the webcam. Okay, guys, this is a camera sample from the front-facing camera on the Surface Pro 8. Uh, this is what you should expect, especially with uh, lighting in front of you. Uh, and this is also the camera that is used for facial unlock and a sample of what the microphones uh, actually do. Um, and could we play some music or video in the background? That would be perfect just to see how noise cancellation works. And uh, here we go. So as I'm talking, maybe that will cut off some of that sound. Maybe it will keep it on. Who knows? Let's see. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Now, speakers on this device are also good. I would say let's take a listen, but yeah, let's just go ahead and take a listen. Everything all right? No, it's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And 
and you've got some solid speakers as well. Plus you have a headphone jack, an actual headphone jack. And connecting via Bluetooth now on Windows 11, by the way, is super fast. I was able to connect to the, uh, the Microsoft mouse, basically the eco-friendly mouse, which uses about 20% recycled material. Um, but that also was a nice mouse that pairs well with this device. Now, the one thing I will say about the uh, Surface Lite is that it feels very versatile and they've added more to that versatility by being able to swap out the MVME. Um, it comes with 256, this version. I can actually pop it out with a SIM removal tool, open it up, and I can replace my, my hard drive. The only caveat here is you do have to install Windows all, all, all over again. So that's just something to take note. I think overall though, this is, a, this is a nice device. I think Microsoft has hit the nail on the head. There are a few things that not so much. Battery life is not 16 hours, it's more closer to two. And um, you know, the pricing is a little bit off skew. That's just something that I will have to throw out there, but I will fully recommend it. I think anyone who had a Surface will like this device. Anyone's looking for something like this that's not a PC or a tablet, but functions as both, will definitely love it. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.